Well, let's bring in our next guest, Jeffrey Rogers. He's the executive producer of Blind Eyes Open. He's also the CEO of the U.S. Institute Against Human Trafficking. Jeffrey, thank you so much for being here. Great to talk to you. Hey, John, thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. And also appreciate you bringing a light to this very dark subject. Well, you know, it's not just us. This issue has really become uh, part of the national consciousness now. It's been uh, focused on by the Trump administration. But talk to us about the, the movie in particular, you know, the lengths to which you, you went to make the movie and why you thought it was so important that the American public see not just what goes into the human trafficking industry, which it, that's what it is, a global industry, but also how the victims of human trafficking are able to recover. Well, sure. I'll tell you. So I came out of the corporate world, and in 2011, my wife and I founded the Ships of Tarshish, which is the nonprofit ministry that produced Blind Eyes Opened. And so it was six years ago that we began to learn the truth about what's actually happening regarding sex trafficking here in our own country. And that's really the focus of this film, is to expose the magnitude of this problem of what's happening here in America. We would estimate easily over 100,000 kids under the age of 18 are trafficked for sex every single day. These are American born kids. They're being purchased by American citizens and they're being sold by American citizens. So we have a massive problem here in America and that's what this film has done over the last six years is travel the country to engage a multitude of individuals. There's 42 interviews in the film. Six of them are featured survivors, and the rest are experts and law enforcement, lawmakers, uh, safe home operators, etc., that really all fit their stories together to tell the truth of what's happening here in our own country. Uh, the stories are incredibly powerful, and you know, the things that might surprise people is, of course, you think about young girls being trafficked in this, but it's boys, too, being trafficked. And you think about, of course, this happening in big metropolitan areas, New York and Miami and San Francisco and L L.A., but this is all over the country, isn't it? Oh, it certainly is, and I'm glad you mentioned the boys because of the number of kids that I mentioned that are being trafficked, one DOJ-funded study that we cite estimates 36% of those kids are boys. And so it's a, it's a problem with boys and girls. This problem crosses every socioeconomic boundary, every class, every race. It truly, what we have found is that sex trafficking is occurring in essentially every community throughout the entire country. And it's really time that Americans grab hold of that fact. We've, we've produced this film very specifically to engage the church, clearly to educate everybody, but very specifically to engage the church on this topic, to get Christians and the church engaged and activated to help put a stop to this problem throughout the country. Yeah, because you have to break the chains of the slavery, the human slavery, but what happens next is also very important. And the film shares the stories of those who have been able uh, to recover and they give credit to God for that, uh, especially the cross. That's a powerful story that's told about the meaning of the cross and how that leads uh, to uh, the salvation for a lot of these folks. It is incredibly powerful and gives me chills just to talk about it. But we're coming at a time now, this is January, it's Human Trafficking Awareness month. Also, uh, the Super Bowl will be happening at the beginning of February. And wherever the Super Bowl goes, there tends to be an increase in human trafficking as well and sex trafficking. Tell us why that is. Well, it's honestly, it's with every major sporting event, really every major event that occurs throughout the country. So the Super Bowl is just one of many, but it's a gathering of many men that go to watch a sporting event. And unfortunately, along with that comes a significant amount of sex trafficking. So this year, with it being in Miami, the uh, Miami-Dade counties have done a great job of organizing task forces and getting ready and prepared to not only rescue those that are caught up in this, but also to attempt to stop it in the first place. And that really goes to addressing the demand because we recognize sex trafficking is a supply answer to a demand mm -hmm. problem. So as a society, we've got to get a hold of the demand to put an end to this across the country. Yeah, and as you mentioned, we know law enforcement, they're working overtime to try and prevent this and the way they can do that. Prevention, of course, comes with more awareness, and that's the importance of movies like Blind Eyes Open. Jeffrey Rogers, great to see you. Congratulations on the film. It's powerful. It's debuting in over 100 theaters around the country uh, this week on Thursday. Congrats, and we encourage everybody to see it. If you can't make it to a theater tonight, make sure you can get the film. Jeffrey, where can folks find out more information about the project? Go right to blindeyesopened.com, and they can find out over 500 theaters around the country and more information about distribution to come even after tonight's showing.
All right, Jeffrey Rogers, executive producer of Blind Eyes Open, the CEO of the U.S. Institute Against Human Trafficking. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks, John. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel, now in 65 million homes. Get Newsmax TV on all the major cable systems or go to NewsmaxTV.com and click on the Find Newsmax tab to locate us. Remember, Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.